what Linux is. Uh, I suppose I would say uh, every computer is different. Every 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 floppy disk is drive is different. Every hard disk is different. Every every uh, video controller is different. And Linux is the thing that knows how to make all these different kinds of parts on a computer do the simple task, things that, that people would consider are simple tasks like write my file out to the disk or read this file off this floppy I have or draw this image on the screen. Linux knows how to talk to these different pieces of hardware and make them do the common operations that we need com computers to do every day. The first time I got Linux was I downloaded the floppy images for Linux. Uh, and in the Penn State University computer lab, I installed it on one of their machines. And uh, they, they subsequently kicked me out of the computer lab that day. The way that we work is you can talk all day about a great idea or a solution to a problem or something that, that you think is an interesting feature for Linux to have. But you've got to show us, show me something concrete. Show me a piece of code that does that. So, so something that's tangible that I can test myself so that I can try it out and I can think about what it is instead of just talking abstractly about a topic all day. Just about everyone who was a core developer before all this hoopla about people making money doing Linux is that they've kept to their values in, in taking these jobs. Um, most of us at least the, the ones that I keep in contact with have a very cushy position and pretty much are doing all the Linux work they were doing before they had the job and within the same f uh, levels of freedom as well. So I still read, got changes from people every day the same way I always did. I still submitted them to Linux the same way I always did before the IPO. Some of us are driving nicer cars than beforehand. That's the only difference. And maybe we're eating a little bit more sushi.